I really don't think that uh, Bitcoin needs to be um, the day-to-day -day transaction mechanism. And so I, I think that's an old, uh, antiquated idea. If you want to buy things that are between $2 and a few thousand dollars, people will generally uh, pay for them in dollars and sure. euros on, on conventional currency rails like MasterCard and Visa. The critical thing that's going on here, which is a million times more important than anything else, is you pay me in anything, I convert it to Bitcoin and I hold it. That's the critical thing. So, so what's going to really have an impact on the marketplace is as companies like Amazon, Facebook, Google, Apple, you know, start to buy Bitcoin or hold Bitcoin on their balance sheets. That'll be good for their shareholders. That'll be good for Bitcoin, right? That will drive the industry forward. It doesn't need to be the day-to-day -day medium of exchange. Yeah. It is in some cases. I mean, look, in, in a country where MasterCard and Visa don't function and the currency's collapsed, yeah, you're gonna use, you're gonna use some kind of payment rail probably a stable coin on the lightning network backed by Bitcoin. But in countries where euros and dollars function properly on MasterCard and Visa and normal payment networks, then the really critical thing here is for companies to start to convert their treasuries to Bitcoin because Bitcoin as a treasury asset is yielding 200% more than the next best idea. I think that Bitcoin's the most disruptive technology of our lifetime because you're in essence watching the digital transformation of yeah. assets from analog assets that are, that are inflating to a deflationary digital asset.